Upon checking out the Victrix Pro FS on its website, the page mentions that the arcade stick has 5 milliseconds of average input latency and has, quote, the fastest legal response time on console, end quote. Aside from some pre-release reports using older testing methods, I couldn't really find any info regarding latency post-release. I guess everyone was just content with those results. More than a year after its release, I'm the Phantom Knot, owner of a ProFS, seeing if it's truly the low latency king of consumer arcade sticks. As you see here, this model is the original run ProFS for the PlayStation 4. I'm aware of the version 2 model revision released earlier this year, which swapped the brushed aluminum look with that of a more powder coat aesthetic. Another difference is the addition of a full-fledged PS4 touchpad, a change from being just a control panel button on the original. The main PCBs between versions are different as well. The original I have is the same exact one featured in a pre-release version of the Pro FS, while the VS2 utilizes a new board revision. Aside from an additional harness to support the full touchpad, I want to assume that both PCBs are basically the same latency-wise. If not, then that would be concerning. I'm also aware of an Xbox One version of the Pro FS, but due to its $350 price tag these sticks are selling for, I don't have one and have not included it in this test. Sorry. Using the Arduino-based lag tester with software by developer wide, I finally have the results. When plugged into a PS4 or PC under normal circumstances, its polling rate is set to 250Hz or 4 milliseconds. The marketing of the 5 millisecond average rate seems misleading as the Pro FS actually performs better at 3.9 milliseconds. Of the 1000 rapid inputs recorded in the test, 77% of them seem to trigger on frame. The min max recorded inputs were at 0.5 milliseconds and 11.2 milliseconds respectively. When overclocked, the stick performs a bit better with a 2.9 millisecond average. 83% of those tested inputs were triggered on time. The lowest and highest respective inputs were recorded at 0.5 milliseconds and 6.2 milliseconds. So at least on that mode, if you're able to make it work with a program like HID USB F or hardware like Undam's USB decoder, you will get better performance. You can find the full results in the spreadsheet link below. So how does the Pro FS perform against the rest of the competition? Does it live up to their claim? For this list, I compare it to other PS4 consumer arcade sticks. As you see, it fails as the Razer Pantera on PS4 mode reigns supreme. Even Combo's PS4 sticks on PS4 mode and on current firmware perform a bit better than the Pro FS. That said, it does perform a bit better than Hori's PS4 Fighting Edge and Real Arcade Pro N. It also beats out the Nakon Daija on its latest firmware as well. When compared to the overall tested sticks and controllers on input like Science, it's placed on the higher end of the list, so at the least it's good. The Brook Universal Fighting Board though can still rest easy as it's still king. It is fast, beating at the marketed average, but it's still not the fastest legal response time on console as they quoted. The Pro FS is still a pretty good stick latency wise. While you can technically have better performance with something like the Pantera, the Pro FS isn't a bad choice at all for consumer sticks, if money's not a concern. If Victrix can find a way to improve the latency and beat the Pantera through firmware, then they can earn their right for their claim. If you still need top tier low latency on the stick, then there's probably enough room to put a universal fighting board inside. Until next time, thank you for watching.